This is a bonus Delta Head stream on a Sunday afternoon, 11 1 2020. One second, I'm getting chat up here. <clears throat> There we go. All right, so yeah, today I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Super Mario 35, and then do that for maybe like an hour, I think, and then throw in some No More Heroes, which as you can see, I'm actively playing. So yeah, finally bit, got these on my system. Honestly, I've had this game on my Switch as the game that I just, you know, put it to sleep on for so long <laughs> that I forgot what the uh, loading screen looks like. So, there you go. Evening Arc. And yes, that is my intention. Congratulations, you have unfoiled or foiled the plot. You can have unfoiled it in the same manner that you unfoil a chocolate bar and reveal it. But in any event, uh, it has been done foiled and uh revealed so yeah i'm gonna do uh let's see 35 player battle to warm up and then try the special battle which has been a challenge for me i really like where they've taken that <clears throat> pardon me cool top of the world ma Special battle is. I enjoy it. I hate. Actually, this is really interesting. <clears throat> How many water levels are there, in fact? There's one. Wow, there are only two water levels in the entire game. And uh, I, in my head, there are several more, but I guess there is exactly one level design with different enemy uh, placements. Uh, yeah, uh, level of progression during battle, uh, it is random. Uh, it tends to cycle worlds 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, through frequently. Those are kind of your recovery uh, levels that uh, if you're an experienced player, you can gather the resources that you need to kind of get back in fighting shape and then go to one of the more difficult levels. Um, but as you can see, just like look at the frequency of levels that I've completed here. Uh, you know, 343, that's obviously the one that it starts at. 164 and then 76 those are the most frequent uh, let's see there was a special battle with 3-2 so I played a lot of that but yeah if you see the number in the upper right that um, oh actually you probably can't see the 343 um, on 1-1 because of the camera placement anyway uh, the little flag clears in the upper right indicates how many times I have beaten it and since I usually complete a level when I get to it um, that's pretty representative of how often it comes up. Uh, but yeah, if you choose the higher level on select a course, that sort of, um, my understanding of that is that that lets the game know what level of competition you're looking for. And after about three or four cycles through of, um, you know, going away from 1-1, one, one, then replaying it, uh, it, it gives you a greater range of challenging levels that everybody has, right? It's not just you, it's not just uh, local to you, it's a cycle that everybody uh, has to go through. <clears throat> so, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of what it is. Does that explain it? Okay. <clears throat> uh, no, if you pick a level, it is not guaranteed to show up. It just uh, lets you know kind of the furthest you are interested in going. I think. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like when I can clear the pipes on those jumps. 
And this first round through 1-1 one, one is just a good chance of a uh, good way to get... I don't know, if you can come out of this with like 40 coins, I think you're doing okay. Uh, to get your starting set of enemies and to get your time ramped up to... Around 100, I think, is pretty good. So I'm fine taking my time through it. In general, I feel okay taking my time until, uh... I get up to uh, about 100 coins, and then 400 units on the clock. I won't say seconds, since it's a little, little uh, fuzzier than that. But, yeah, that kind of maxes you out, gets you set up for uh, the final run when uh, resources are scarce, enemies are abundant, and your time is running short. So the first couple of levels are kind of a long game prep. So you can also decide on your priorities, <clears throat> because getting a power-up that uh, is either equal to or lesser than where you're at uh, just gives you extra time. So if you are at 400 seconds on the clock, there's really no need to spend time doing that. You can just uh, move on to other productive things. Correct. Uh, warp zone is not enforced. Uh, if you don't take the warp zone, uh, I, I think that the warp zone spread that you see there is what is on the menu regardless, because I have noticed there have been times when I've selected a level in the warp zone, and then immediately following I was taken to uh, one of the levels that was provided as an alternative. So I think that's just whatever happens to be the lineup. <clears throat> Uh, but if you elect to uh, not take the warp zone, then you just sort of surrender yourself to fate. Ooh! Actually, I do in fact want to touch you with this. Yes! Yeah, the next level is always random. Uh, if not random to that moment, you know, I don't think it rolls uh, for your next level uh, to come up as soon as you beat one. I think there's a pre-decided uh, menu and order when you start a round that, is, uh, that applies to everybody. So you just get whatever's next in line. Oh man, I remember this was... Uh, that spot right there, uh, and I could never do it, is sort of legendary as a tip in the original Mario Brothers when playing for offline... Oh, I should have run faster uh, for offline keeps. Is uh, You can get it to where you're sort of bouncing on the shell infinitely, and... Uh, getting your points for successive hits and just like get one-ups infinitely. That's uh, a way to set yourself up for success if you have kind of reached your skill limit on the later levels. Yeah, Rip, that, that's, that's okay. It's kind of warming up here. 
I gotta hand it to Nintendo. They've done a really good job of getting the servers on this really crisp. Uh, you can match make uh, just within seconds of booting up and within seconds of bring, uh, bringing your system uh, back from being asleep. Noticing Mario, small Mario, is actually a little floatier at the top of his jump than big Mario is, I think. So that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a whoops there. That's fine. I'll start focusing now. Dustin. Or afternoon, I, unless you're, uh, actually, I don't know, even if you are West Coast, it is sufficiently late to be considered evening. <laughs> wow. Oh, not off to the best start tonight. actually like to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the apex of Big Mario's jumps and Little Mario's jumps to see if Little Mario is more featherweight. Yeah, this is uh, an example of the uh, randomness of the warp zones here. Uh, I think this is just like the cycle of levels that you would go through. So I'm not interested in any of those, so I'm going to go for another warp zone and omit the others. Indiana's nice. Despite having been there minimally, I uh, spent a good couple of weeks there visiting a friend in Bloomington at the music school there, but not much time outside of that. Oh, 
on, uh, online, this level is, uh, very challenging without either a star or fireballs. Yeah, it's a free limited time release. Uh, I would like for it to be around longer, but uh, I get that's how Nintendo does things. I think it's uh, it's uh, one of these brilliant Nintendo things that uh, is just incredibly fun. Let's see if I can get more on the hook here. Thank you. 
6-2. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh boy! Lock a two party. to my name. Although I think I would really like to thin out this Lockatoo business I've got going on here. Uh... That's what I'm looking for. Yep. Final rush. <laughs> I'm fine hiding out here in coin heaven for the beginning of this while they send all those Lockatoos back and forth. May my enemies eat themselves alive! Creature those spinies are underneath a shell. Surely not turtles of some sort. have the right momentum on that. <laughs> Overshot that. Thank you. 
Turtle shells are the golden ticket to uh, getting extra time at the end here. Evening, Gary. It's good to see you. Doing a Sunday afternoon stream. Well, early evening stream now that uh, the sun is setting earlier by the clocks. Gonna do this for a little bit, then maybe some No More Heroes. So good. got affiliates uh, a while back I'm just super lazy on uh, sort of <laughs> that's fantastic on uh, following through on that stuff uh, let's see good Oh, crap. Oh, no, this is 8 4. I don't remember the pattern. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I think this is it. OK. 
Okay. I think I remember the way to go. I just need to... Yeah, I remembered it at the last second. Uh, that would have been the last pipe to go down, uh, and then it's just a straight run to Bowser. So, uh, yeah, so close! Alright. And, hats off to ya. Stream snipe? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means, so... Until I learn otherwise, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Also, Siobhan, it's good to meet you. If you like Mario 35, I tend to cap off my twice-weekly streams with uh, about an hour of it. And, uh... It's a, it's a good time uh, to unwind from my normal survival horror fare. <laughs> oh, I did not know he was hiding back there. after that. Evening, Peacher. Yeah, I still feel good about second place. It's just, uh... Especially when it's just out of reach. I don't know, it's weird. Like, when you get to, like, the end game, and you've got a plan in your head for how you're gonna... how it's gonna go, and, uh, that plan is feasible to get you to number one, and then something happens to cut it short, like, uh, just not hitting the rolls well enough in an enemy spare, uh, environment, so you run out of time start going back and trying to re-strategize. I see somebody in the left in a water level, which probably means one is going to be in this lineup. Yeah, right here. Octopuses are pretty obnoxious, or squids, rather. So, early on, they are definitely worth sending to people. Actually, I'm only now coming to appreciate the value of water levels as uh, places to really rack up time. So, like, if you get, like, a bunch of Goombas in one, uh, in one place, uh, and you kick a turtle shell, then you can absolutely rack up some, uh, some time on your clock. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> Ignore me. This. Well, goodbye, friend. <laughs>
<laughs> Walking the dog on that fella. on how much how much time your opponents have uh, but you don't really know until they uh, until they're really close uh, the borders of their square or rectangle rather will uh, start to pulse red I think that's within their within like 15 seconds of death Keeps hitting the roll button. There we go. Join me. Really, uh, trying to get into the whole, uh, teach a man to fish and he'll, uh, he won't starve a day in his life, uh, kind of role here. Not the, uh, give a man a fish business. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. 
Evening, Space Hamlet. Having a recreational Sunday stream, even though every stream is recreational. I call it that because it is unscheduled. And uh, Sundays are typically days I try to leave as unguided and unplanned as possible. And leave open... No! I <laughs> did not mean to do that. i uh, leave open to spontaneity as possible. So here we are. Ah, oh, yes. Oops, I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. is a potentially very challenging one. I like to spend as little time on those platforms as possible, so I like just try to press right and run right through. And uh, <laughs> sometimes you can uh, go a little cartoonishly faster paced than you intend. Hmm. 
Thank you. Yes. I think the, like, the stalemate uh, lasts... I have never played a game that goes longer than 15 minutes. I think that's about how long they uh, expected to go, because the further, the closer you get to that farthest edge, uh, the faster the countdown goes, so that, like, you know, uh, what would normally be about a 10 second count goes, goes away in, like, one second. Yeah, of course, Yvonne. Uh, one second. Hmm. Finally, my nickname beat my legal name to smithereens. James Me is going to have to start borrowing money from Jamie with that coin difference. Okay. So, I'm going to rematch in a countdown. We can try this. Three. Uh, actually, are you ready? Let me know if you're ready. Okay, hopefully accounting for lag, this will work. So, three, two, uh, uh, sorry, on go. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Oh, uh, all right, uh, so I forgot exactly where the trigger gets pulled. Okay, now, three, two, one, go. Hopefully one of those Marios is you. <laughs> Thank you, Peacher. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Feel good about that.
I hope the, uh, the lineup of levels in this is a little more varied than last time. I feel like toward the end it was just a parade of uh, Goombas and Koopas, and I really do like when you get more Bowsers into the mix, <laughs> when things start to crunch. eternal reward just that there we go Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, still nine. <laughs> Sprinted to my death there. That was uh, inhale worthy. Bad, bad. Okay, <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Not the outcome I intended, but okay. Let 
y'all do your thing. It is interesting, and I don't think I would have known this, um, as clearly in the regular game, um, in other words, the non-competitive Super Mario Brothers, uh, but there is a certain distance off the side of the screen past which a turtle shell will uh, continue to hit enemies. And it's always been kind of unclear exactly how far that is, um, but now that I've got this little, uh, you know, that little tell of uh, the countdown timer boost uh, when I hit something that lets me know kind of how far that is. to stay in the mix. Alright! KO! Got my blood money. Let's just see how this goes. <sighs> Alright, Roulette. I need you to give me something better than this. Thank you. Yeah, Shantae, I was initially skeptical of the idea myself, but then once I came, once I sort of uh, started to appreciate that it's competitive in this very indirect way, this very Twinkle Star Sprites kind of way, um, where uh, it's kind of more about your, uh, your relationship to your own game plus the interferences that other people are throwing at you than it is about, like, uh, sort of being psychologically head-to-head -head, uh, with a competitor, as in, like, a fighting game or something. So I can get more. Hmm. Well, that's what you get. Oh, wow, Squid Party. Oh, no. 
Okay. Yes, finally a Bowser in the mix. And a big Bowser, too. That's at least six or seven forward. affect the direction of ground marchers. Bouncing that Bowser back and forth. No one wants him.
Six four. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Game's a bastard. Totally what I wanted, but good enough. All right. Oh no, Siobhan. Thank you, Jimmy. It's good to meet you. Six oh nine can do one more. I'll do a special game, and then I'll hop over to uh, uh, maybe do like thirty minutes of No More Heroes. Uh, so I'm right at the start of that, and that'll be fun. Oh, uh, here, Siobhan, if you want to hop into this, um, if you want to get on a special battle, and I can do another countdown, three, two, one, go, and we can try it. Uh, yeah, uh, Jimmy, this is, uh, got about 26 hours logged, uh, 48 first places out of 194, just gonna figure what that ratio is. Four point seven percent. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, let me take a quick break real fast. If anybody wants to play and hop in, um, I can. Uh, actually, you know what, Siobhan, if you want to try it again, try to roll again. Um, I can just not do special battle that last time, and we can try thirty-five player again. So give me one second. I'll be right back.
for uh, for any new faces to the stream. This is uh, this is the real face that's bankrolling this operation. This is a panda. The big boy. And uh, yes, Jimmy, 35 normal. It's got uh, special listed on there on the screen, but that's not what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yep, he's uh, he's actually a Twitch partner powerhouse. He's been subsidizing this whole affair. Uh, on the sly, on the lowdown, it's kind of a small business initiative on behalf of his specialty, and um, his only request is that he be given the appropriate tithe of screen time. Oh, <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> he can jump for a big boy. Oh. Oh. And this is Dr. Squirm. Say hello, Dr. Squirm. Oh. Dr. Squirm is on sabbatical. Nope, nope, there we go. Professional to the end. Ah, oh, yeah, Samson emote. That is... Thank you, Peacher. I've been racking my brain for uh, emotes that would be valuable and useful to take advantage of now that apparently ads are showing up at a ratio or a, at, a, at a timed rate on the stream. And uh, I should be at least getting uh, something out of that new inconvenience. Yeah, no, this is 5-4? Uh, yeah, of course. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Siobhan and uh, Jimmy, if uh, y'all let me know when you're ready to go, then uh, then I'll start with that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, countdown, three, two, one, go, on go. Um, three... Two, what? No. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Bad fingers. Three, two, one, go. Like I said, we'd have a count nine. I didn't say we'd have rhythm. Apparently, the only part of my hand that's up to snuff tonight is the thumb. How can you tell if you're uh, if you're not in the same room? Oh, there we go. That is that is the one thing about this game that I wish uh, were possible is uh, matchmaking. for the botched countdown. If that is what caused the disconnect. I think uh, I noticed this uh, scrolling up through chat uh, <laughs> uh, maybe about 20 minutes ago. I kept, happened to catch it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, thank you, Gary, for the subscription. I think you are the first person to actually subscribe to the channel. And uh, there are a lot of bells and whistles I have yet to implement on that. So uh, thank you, friend, for that. Gary, uh, 
Gary is a friend of the channel who uh, helped with the Outbreak Files 1 and 2 streams a few months ago now, I think, um, to, uh, to help Sherpa through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Gary and uh, one of the channel moderators, uh, Boogle, is, um, is a, a top-tier player. Of Files 1 and 2, and uh, I kind of wanted to explore those, kind of get a sense of the design, and uh, from this side of... Uh, from this side of 30. <laughs> I was much younger when I played it before, and uh, they were kind enough to uh, help me with that. Resident Evil Outbreak was one of the first things that I ever wrote anything about online. how uh, uh, the fireball can activate and uh, appear on the screen right at the same time as you uh, collide with an enemy. Fish, get out of my business. Oh, come on! <laughs> ah, I wish I could just take those things out of the running. They're easily the least useful things. Well, Dustin, if you want, uh, I know that... Uh, Gary plays uh, on the fan servers uh, semi-frequently uh, and uh, is, uh, can testify to how active they are. But, wow, that's a lot of sheep cheeps. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a pretty good community out there. And you even still have uh, people who are new enough to the game to make it a fresh experience. So it's not just, basically what I'm saying is it's not just pros playing with the same group of people that they've been playing with on the fan servers for the past, like, however many years, you know? As can happen on fan servers. Actually, I want to grab that. It does require a little bit of, uh, a little bit of emulator setup, and, uh... It's a little esoteric, getting the server information uh, input into the net file on the emulated memory card, but uh, it is doable, having recently uh, reset it up myself for the sake of the stream. <laughs> charming how slow Bowser is in his desperate uh, bid to reach the axe before Mario does.
We should actually... Woohoo! A little extra horrifying when you think about it because uh, it's not portrayed as such in the online game, but outside of the final Bowser, that's uh, one of Bowser's minions that's just been enchanted to look like him. So, uh, whatever, whatever hapless lieutenant happens to be guarding that particular castle is suddenly realizing that the curse of uh, receiving Bow Bowser's strength is they no longer are as fleet of foot as they would be otherwise. toe there. Well, I guess you're not following. Would have liked to keep him in the mix, but... You can lead a horse to water. I don't think that proverb is ap applicable here, but that's where we are! And your noggin on those things really can send you down into an enemy. Yep. Oh man, okay. Okay. I will admit it came in handy. I 
like at the end of Nightmare on Elm Street when they think they've gotten away and they defeated Freddy, but then that car comes along and eats them up. Exact same scenario. There was two of them hiding in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Congratulations, Jimmy. So wait, I thought this was seven. Oh wait, this is seven three. Damn it, I was thinking eight three. Uh, this is much less exciting for me. on. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Probably not the thing that I want to get hung up on there, but that's what I did. Absolutely not the course that interests me. Oh, oh boy. Uh, uh, okay. Ah! So close. Evening Mexican Sting. Yeah, close. Eight coins to my name at the end. So, you know, you can't take it with you. Who beat me? Dink Short. Well, Dink Short, hats off to ya. All the rest of you? Ha! Let's see. Alright, uh... So yeah, I've been doing this for a couple of hours. I think I'm gonna switch over to No More Heroes for a bit. And then call it a night. So, uh, Jimmy and uh, Siobhan, thank you for coming out. Uh, if, you stick around, if you don't stick around for No More Heroes, and if you're here for the Super Mario Bros. 35, uh, I do stream this... Uh, around the last 45 minutes to an hour of my weekly streams. I do it at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, this week, because election night is on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing it on Wednesday. But yeah, if you want to come out for that, it's a lot of survival horror fare. Um, but uh, give me one second to change the game title over, and I'm going to hop into No More Heroes!